I'm a bad boy. When I get off my ass and got to the cash and got my bag, boy. What's up, y'all? It's Bam, and I'm just gonna jump straight into this video. So, I'm filling my bin up with boiling hot water, and I didn't have enough, so I'm using just regular hot water from my sink to fill it up some more. And the color that I'll be using today is a lavender color to do like a lavender and icy white ombre on a 12 inch bob wig. So, I'm putting the color inside the bin, as y'all can see, and I'm mixing it up, and I'm getting ready to dip my wig inside the bin. So now I'm dipping my wig inside the color and as y'all can see I'm only dipping the bottom part of the wig inside the bin because like I said before I want this wig to be a uh, ombre type of wig so it's going to be icy white at the top and a beautiful lavender color at the bottom so that's what I'm doing and I'm just going to keep on dipping until I'm satisfied and as y'all can see I'm using a comb to distribute the dye evenly onto the wig and i'm just gonna keep on dipping this wig until i'm basically satisfied with how the lavender color looks on the wig and i know y'all see that some parts at the top of the wig is icy white and some parts are blonde but don't worry y'all we're gonna fix that and i'm gonna show y'all how in a minute so as y'all can see i put some more dye inside the bin and now I'm mixing it up to prepare to dip my wig again. So like I said before, I'm just gonna repeat this process until I'm satisfied with how the lavender color looks on my wig. So I'm gonna come back after I'm done. So now I'm done dipping my wig inside the lavender color and um, I'm putting some new water inside the bin and I'm taking this platinum color by Kiss and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the lavender color. I'm going to dip the bottom part of the wig inside this platinum color just to turn the lavender more on the icy side. So that's all I'm doing here. So I'm completely done with dipping the bottom part of my wig. So right here, I'm just rinsing the wig off a little bit, getting the excess dye off so I can prepare to wash it. So I 
told y'all before that I'm going to show y'all how to take this blonde out of the top of the wig. So you're gonna take some purple shampoo by Shimmer Lights. I think Shimmer Lights is the best purple shampoo to use in my opinion. So I'm taking some Shimmer Lights purple shampoo and I'm going to like basically scrub the top of my wig with the shampoo and then I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes so purple shampoo basically tones your hair you know like how you first get a blonde wig and it's yellow once you put purple shampoo on your hair it's just gonna strip all that yellow out and it's gonna tone it basically like tone it like a lighter blonde or a icy white basically so that's what I'm using the purple shampoo for to get all the yellow out my hair So after letting the purple shampoo sit on my hair for about 15 minutes, I'm rinsing it out now and then I'm going to wash it one more time with the purple shampoo, but I'm not gonna let it sit. I'm just gonna wash the hair with the purple shampoo like I'm doing now, and then I'm going to rinse it out once I'm done. And another thing purple shampoo is good for is colored hair. So if you dye your hair any color and you wash it with purple shampoo, then the color will come out more vibrant and the color will last longer on your hair without it fading or anything. So that's another great benefit if you're using purple shampoo. So right now I'm gonna wash my hair with Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. You can use any type of shampoo or conditioner you want, but I prefer Shea Moisture because it's really good on your hair and it will leave your hair super soft. So right now I'm just gonna wash my hair real, real good. And I really don't have to explain this part because it's self-explanatory. I mean, everybody knows how to wash hair, right? So I really don't have to explain this part. So I'm gonna come back once I'm done washing and detangling my hair. And another thing I forgot to mention is when you condition your hair, leave your conditioner on for about 10 minutes and then rinse it out. So this is how the hair is looking after I shampooed and conditioned it. I'm just going to show y'all how it came out and how the color looks. So I like to comb all my hair back when I'm preparing to let it air dry and I like to let all my wigs air dry especially blonde wigs because it's already processed hair and I don't like adding all that heat to my wigs so I let all of my wigs air dry for about 24 hours so I'm combing all the hair back and I'm just gonna let it sit right there for 24 hours and right here i'm just using a towel to get all the excess water out of the wig so it can dry a little bit more quicker but i'm just gonna let this sit for 24 hours then i'm gonna come back and style the wig 
So after 24 hours, this is how the wig is looking. It's nice and dry. So now I'm just about to style the wig and I'm not gonna talk that much during the styling process because I'm just gonna let y'all watch me because it's really nothing to explain. I'm just flat ironing the wig. So y'all can just watch me style and I will come back once I'm done.
if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for supporting me and I want to give a huge thank you to my true supporters who like and comment on my videos every time I upload I do see you guys and I love you guys so this is the end of the video and this is the finished look so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this look and make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video and I'll see you guys in my next one no, no, not at all. None of you bitches compare. Nah, try to shit, baby, I dare. Yeah, you gon' be sweating your hair. Uh, trying to catch up to a bitch like me. Uh.